here's a look at what to watch for in the week ahead. We get third quarter GDP data next Friday, and economists polled show a wide range of opinion on what to expect. The biggest mystery in the number will be the contribution from state and local governments. So we know that they were really slashing jobs in September. We know they're under budget strain. We don't know how significant of a hit it's going to be on GDP. This might help explain why the forecasts that we have in our poll are so wide right now. On average, they expect economic growth to come in at 2%, bolstering the Federal Reserve's case for more monetary stimulus. Strong corporate earnings are expected to keep the stock market rising next week, but with volatility at such low levels, markets could overreact to the downside on any bearish news. The VIX is at its lowest level since April and has been under its 200-day moving average since early October. Investors will also look for any guidance about where the dollar is heading following the G20 meeting, and the credit market will trade off the planned $109 billion in Treasury sales. It's another big week for Fed speakers in what will likely be a closely watched speech. Chairman Ben Bernanke leads the week off Monday, making welcoming remarks before a federal housing conference on mortgages and on the future of housing finance. Four other Fed officials will speak throughout the week, and investors will look for any clues about the scope of quantitative easing. Big oil companies are set to report earnings in the week ahead. ExxonMobil, Chevron, and ConocoPhillips all expected to report higher Q3 profits boosted by high crude prices. But Reuters equities analyst John Cozy warns oil companies' stocks might be more influenced by the strength of the dollar than their earnings reports. We have three of the major oil companies that are set to report in the middle of next week or at the end of next week. There's an 80 to 97 percent correlation between those stocks and the price of the U.S. dollar. So I think even if they report good earnings, if the dollar's got a problem, then this, these stocks could go down. The oil company expected to miss on the industry's successful quarter is BP. The fallout of the Gulf of Mexico oil spill is forecast to push Q3 replacement cost profit down 2%. And analysts expect Microsoft will report higher fiscal first quarter earnings on Thursday. Strong sales of the new version of Microsoft Office software and the release of the latest blockbuster Halo video game likely helped earnings. But slower than expected computer sales over the past few months could put a damper on the sales of its flagship Windows operating system. And that's a look at what to watch in the week ahead. I'm Rhonda Schaffler. This is Reuters Insider.